Hello guys, real quick, I want to get your opinion on something before we get into this workout. A friend of mine and I have been talking about hosting a health and fitness retreat. Now, this retreat would be a month long in some beautiful tropical location and we'd be training every single day, multiple times per day. We'd be eating healthy and learning how to prepare healthy, nutritious meals so that we can take that knowledge and bring it back home with us. And we'd be forming a community where we live together, train together, and encourage each other to improve our health and fitness. Now this would be for all fitness levels from beginner through advanced. If this is something that sounds interesting to you, then let me know in the comments and we can start to work out the finer details of making this thing actually happen. Okay, let's get into today's workout. Aloha guys, today we have a very special workout. It is the infamous CrossFit workout called Barbara. Now I'll post the workout right here, bam. So I'll run through it with you guys together. It is 20 pull-ups, 30 push-ups, 40 sit-ups, 50 squats, and then rest three minutes, five rounds. Now that three minute rest is really important because without it, it's actually an easier workout. You'll get done faster, it's not so bad. But with that three minute rest, what it means is at the start of every round, I want you to attack the pace. So that means is when you finish a round, you take a look at the clock and determine what is three minutes from that point in time that you finish the round because that is when you're gonna start the next round is three minutes later. Now I do have some other options, an intermediate option, which would be just four rounds, and a beginner option, which is just two rounds, and I want you to take it nice and slow. Now let me show you the standards for the movements in today's workout. Pull up is gonna start from a dead hang where your arms are straight, you're gonna get your chin above the bar. That's a rep. Now also as a scaling option, and if you don't have a pull-up station, then I'm gonna have you do 80 supermans instead of the 20 pull-ups. Now push-ups, start with arms locked out, chest touches the ground, arms locked out at the top. You can do this from your knees as well, same range of motion, chest to deck, arms straight at the top. Do your best to maintain that standard. Sit-ups, we're gonna do CrossFit sit-ups, which means hands touch the ground above your head, then hands touch in front of your toes in the front where the shoulders are clearly in front of the hips. And then lastly, the squat. Unless you have knee problems, I want your hip crease to get below the knee and then your hips to open at the top. Now do your best to adhere to those standards. But if you have any injuries or something preventing you from getting full depth or whatever, then take care of yourself. That is number one. Good luck with this workout. Let's get into this warm up. Let's get started guys. Grab a band, broomstick or a towel, toss it to the side. We'll use it in the end. Lunges with arm circles ready and begin. All right guys, we've got a good one today. I'm actually a little nervous. I was, I was nervous to start, but we're gonna be fine. Take it at whatever pace you like. Now it's reverse direction of these arm circles. And just, you know, just show up today. That's all you gotta do. Take it at whatever pace you like. And let's do our, what do you call these, bobbies. Bobby calls them chain breakers. And we'll go up and down. Breathe. I'm, I guess I'm nervous. My breath is running away from me. Monkey coming up next. Breathe. Chill out. Loosen up. Oh, here we go. The hips. I need this one. And ankles. So guys, I've been talking about it to my family from back home and every surfer is probably, not everyone, but Uluwatu is a big, big name in the surf community. 
I think I'm finally gonna go surf Uluwatu tomorrow. I'll definitely bring the GoPro so I can show you guys. If I get barreled, Spider Dog's up next. You can get a head start if you want. And step one leg forward, hips down. Yeah, Uluwatu, one of the most well-known surf destinations in the world. And when you're ready, you can push back and step the other foot forward. I've been a little intimidated to go because that's where the pro surfers hang out. It can be territorial. It's kind of like pipeline if you surf. If you roll up the pipeline in Hawaii, there's a... Uh, it's an intimidating scene. There's a lot of guys in the water. They're all really good. But I've got to pull the trigger. I've got to do this. I'm going to take my moped. It's about a 40 minute drive on the moped. I've got my surfboard rack ready to go. Now we got dive bombers coming up next. And I might get tubed. It's one of the best barreling waves on the planet. Two, one. Inhale as you dive through. Exhale as you press back. And repeat. Find the rhythm here. Yeah. Oh, I was so zenned out for a moment there. Squat, arm rotations to finish. Down and rotate. Ooh. All right, feeling good. So Uluwatu has been on my mind. All I can think about, or a large portion of what I've been thinking about. The whole experience, I don't know what it's gonna be like. The, the unknown. But it'll be an adventure for sure. I hope I get barreled. That'd be awesome. It's gonna be good sized surf too. All right, shake it out. Guys, it's time to focus on the workout. We are doing Barbara, the infamous CrossFit workout, and I'll post it right here, bam. It'll be there the entire time for you to reference. And be sure to take that three minute break. That's really important. So you take that break so you can hit the next round hard. We're starting with the 20 pull-ups. As we're going in five seconds or the Superman's 80 of them. Two, one. Begin.
That's it, guys. Keep going. Or rest if you're in the rest stage. Remember, you want to rest the full three minutes. Then we'll attack the next round. Five total rounds. that rest, breathe, bring the heart rate back down, try to recuperate as much as you can before we start that next round.
crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody singing oh, oh, oh. everybody singing oh, oh, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you, and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you wanna do.
rest wherever you are at, guys. In 20 seconds, we'll grab our bands and we'll do our shoulder stretch down. So you can grab your equipment now. We'll get started in 12 seconds with some shoulder pass-throughs. In two, one, and pass-throughs. Oh yeah, what a workout today. Haven't done that one in years. This used to be one of my go-tos. Because all you really need is a place to do pull-ups. So I'd, I'd head to the park, bring my stopwatch with me and, and knock out Barbara. It's one of my go-tos. Great workout, full body. And let's get into some cyclones. And last one in this direction. Before we reverse it. And we'll get into our tricep. Shoulder stretch. This bad boy. And hold it. Hold that tension. And switch sides. Oh yeah. All right, equipment, toss it to the side, left leg, big step forward, hips down into our Spider-Man lunge. All right, guys, we made it. Now we get to relax, down to your elbows. Leg folds down, lie on top of it, and relax all the way down. We'll shake out the left leg real quick. Right leg steps forward. Well, I could have spent a lot more time in that pigeon. I have to revisit that one later tonight. And then getting into bed, reading my book, and doing the double quad stretch and pigeons. Make me feel real good. And down to your elbows. And lay your right leg down to the side, lie on top, into pigeon, Woo. Yeah, this feels good. We'll sit up and back into seated kneeling position. Just shift your weight from side to side, stretching out the knees a little bit and around top of the quads. Now you can interlace the fingers. Try to straighten out the arms, open up the chest, and just tilt the head from side to side. Ooh, I didn't want to stop. I felt so good. Straighten out the right leg. 
and lean back into the quad stretch on the left side. And switch out the legs. And extend both legs, sit on up, reach toward your toes, and rock from side to side. Happy snail. A happy baby. O sea, el proceso, me imagino lo otro también. Cuando te va a ver, hace mucho fue que me disfruta. Que es más que yo. La vida está para. Bring your knees in, squeeze them into your chest and hold. And extend your legs, get comfortable guys. Minute 53 Shavasana starts right now. Upgrade complete. Ha! 
Guys, happy mandatory Monday. I hope you like that classic CrossFit workout, Barbara. Be sure to put your score or the time you completed the workout down in the comments below because this is one that has a lot of repeat value. We may be coming back to it in our program or maybe you may just end up doing it on your own. It's such a great workout to do and it's very easy to do. You just need to pull up bar. Now guys, this week is going to be a little bit different than the previous weeks of training. We're going to do three workout days and in between them, I'm going to have two recovery days this week. And the reason being is we are going to increase the volume, the amount of work that we're doing during our work days. And I want to make sure that we're taking care of our bodies as we adapt to this higher volume training. Patrons, subs, thank you guys so much for your continued support. I really could not be doing this without you guys. Tomorrow we've got a recovery session where we're really gonna take care of the shoulders and the chest. So if you have any issues there, or even if you don't, just to mitigate any issues that may arise, join us for tomorrow's workout. I hope to see you there. Aloha.